Welcome to a tutorial video on ChoiceScript. In this video I'm going to cover scenes. I mentioned in the last video that when we close out a set of choices using the keyword using the command finish and the keyword finish that the ChoiceScript IDE didn't know what to make of extra text I had added. When we finish something, a choice, usually we go to something else. But as I mentioned in the previous video, the finish command and the ending command will act in a similar way if there's nothing else to go to. The reason why this is important is that choice script projects are made up of scenes. When there are no more scenes to go to, the game ends or the project ends. That introduces a new command here, starting on line 4, the scene underscore list command. This lists the scenes, the files, we will go to in the order that we will go to them. That is, when the finish command is run into in other choices or throughout this project, and there's nothing else in that scene, it will just go to the next scene automatically. This is the problem we ran into in the previous video. When there was nothing else to go to, it just ended. Now, using the scene list command, we can list the scenes in order. Now the scenes are based on files as I mentioned, and if I expand this out to the left, we'll see there, we'll, we will see there are now additional files. Other than just the startup file, which we cannot be renamed here, we also have bad endings and house. These are extra scenes, extra files we can now go to. And in fact, we can see that. We have these listed as startup, the initial file we're looking at, and then house as the next scene. So let's play this, again clicking the small play button, it will open over here on the right hand side, and we can look on this. So let's go, as we did previous video, woods, cross the river, and now we see we did not make it across the river and was swept downstream. You didn't survive the trip. As we see here under the second use of the choice command, cross river, we see the initial text, we did not make it across the river and were swept downstream to our doom, but that doesn't quite match the text we're seeing now. The text we're seeing now actually comes from another scene. And so we see an additional use of a command go to underscore scene. This allows us to go to another file and doesn't necessarily have to be one of the scenes that are listed in the scene list. This allows us to add extra files, extra scenes, to a project, but not necessarily progress through them in a linear order. At the top of this, we listed the scenes as startup and house. So when we got done with startup and the finish command was run into, it would then automatically go to the scene of house, the file house. But bad endings wasn't listed among those. But we can open it over here on the left-hand side by clicking on it, and now we see the text, you didn't survive the trip, and the command ending, which ended the game. Coming back to startup, let's restart this. I will click play again. This time, we will go to the woods. And now it says we went into the woods, which is the text we see, line 26. And then we see the finish command, line 27. And now it gives us something to click on on the right hand side here, next chapter, and takes us to house, which is the next scene in linear order listed as part of the scene list command. So if we load up house, we see that. We see the text at the top here. We see the use of the choice command. We see its choice at starting with the hash symbol, knock on the door, barge in, and then we see the results of clicking on those or selecting that choice. So let's click on barge in, click next, and we see we got caught in a trap. You didn't survive the trip. You didn't survive the trip is part of bad endings as we saw and we see the use right here again of the command go to scene and then the name of the file the scene to go to. However if we restart Go to mountains, next chapter, knock on the door. We see the use of the command finish, 
And just like in the previous video and that I've covered in this video, if there's nothing else, no other scenes to go to or no other text to show, the game ends anyway. So as a review, we can add scenes, other files, to ChoiceScript. We do that if we want to progress through a linear order by using the scene underscore list command. Usually we add it pretty high up in the startup file. This will list the scenes in order that we want to progress through as we go through this project. And here in this example I have startup, which is the very first one, as well as house. And as we saw when we run into the finish command within an initial scene, it will progress to the next scene automatically and give the player the next chapter button to click on. However, we can also use the command go to underscore scene and the name of a file to automatically jump to that scene or jump to that file. As we saw here on line 20, the use of the command go to scene, the name of the file, bad endings, and we immediately jumped to that and in this case showed the text you didn't survive the trip as well as use the command ending to immediately end that project. So when we want to use scenes within ChoiceScript, we can add them to the project. Within the ChoiceScript IDE, that is the second button. The first one is Save Project. The second one is Add Scene. And as you see here, it added a scene called Untitled. By clicking on it, I could change this to another title, but I'm not going to do that now. And if we wanted to progress through them linearly, we could add them to the Scene underscore List. Again, progress as within each scene, it runs into the Finish command or using the command go to underscore scene to go immediately to that file by creating a nonlinear progression then from the initial startup or another scene like that to a whole nother scene. Thanks for watching.